and welcome to tabletopbattle.com this is uh, Swain holding the camera and Damon is reading the armies of the United States book no I wasn't oh you were anywho this is our first absolutely patrons only match yes exclusive for you guys um, and whoever pays up yeah, later. Uh, maybe somewhere down the road we will make it uh, public, but that will, of course, be a long time from yeah, now. After you've forgotten about this match, uh, <laughs> just remember how awesome it was when my Hellcats blew up Swain's stuff. Well, possibly. One time. You got two of them. I do. Uh, anywho, this is what we refer to as a grudge match. Yep. Uh, and we have put a sort of... Um, French rural, 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 rural village. Yeah, rural village area with cobblestones uh, on a beautiful battle mat by deepcutstudio.com. Um, Did you show them the logo? I have, uh, or I will show them the logo, but I will also show it when I present the armies. This is quite cool that you can get the logo on uh, your mat. So if you have a logo and you want to see it printed, deepcutstudio.com. I should get my face printed. Oh my, that would be a nasty mat. Anywho, uh, the game, Grudge Match, uh, that means there is no historical scenario or anything like that. This is a maximum attrition game where we will try to kill as many of the enemy's units. He has 12 order dice, I have 11. Um, the winner, or the loser rather, has to say... Recon or... Recce, yes. or the three the upcoming next... matches that we will have. <laughs> and that will be North Africa. Yes. Um, uh, the, the lists uh, were made uh, uh, while thinking of tournament uh, playing. Yeah. Uh, so science list is what he would probably take. My list is what I would probably take. Uh, the only uh, things that we've set as core rules are no more than a thousand points and no more than fifty percent inexperienced or. Uh, veteran, veteran uh, units. Yeah. So there should be. We are both of us with it. Yeah. So you don't get a horde army or a very hard to kill army. Exactly. Um, anyway, uh, talk a little bit about the terrain. The mission is, like yes. I said, uh, we are going to kill each other's units. But for the terrain, we have chosen this time to let the hedges block line of sight. For infantry. For infantry, of course. Tanks uh, shooting uh, over them at other tanks or at uh, well uh, your truck uh, they count as light cover. Yeah. Uh, the uh, stone, uh, the walling hedges, stone hedges. What the hell? Mortar wounds. <laughs> Screw you. Stone walls. Stone walls. Uh, they are hard cover, uh, but uh, tanks do not benefit anything from them because they are so small. Okay. Or not? Um, hard cover. Hard cover. Well, actually, yeah, you can you you can make an argument there because you actually do cover fifty percent of the tank. And the tracks are gone. Tracks are not visible. Yeah, so, right, so hard cover. Hard cover hard for cover. vehicles. Let's agree. Um, when you stand inside a building that has a roof, uh, or partly a roof, or part partially a roof, uh, it's counted as a building. So hard cover yep. and bulletproof cover. That's flames of war again. Six is to kill. <laughs> Six is to kill. Uh, and the rules for buildings are you have to run to get into them, but you can advance or run out of them. Yeah, and buildings without a roof, they're just hard cover. Yeah, so there is no special rules for entering or leaving. You can do whatever, but they only provide hard cover. Uh, if you have a wheeled vehicle, you can just plow down this fence and we will just Remove one section. If you have a tracked vehicle. Yeah, tracked. I did. I said tracked. You said wheeled. I said wheeled. I meant tracked. Everybody knows that. You're <laughs> procrastinating. <laughs> and the same goes with uh, the stone walls. Yeah, but only on an on, on advanced on move. Walls, yeah. yeah. Uh, these uh, booths. booths in the middle, uh, they provide uh, uh, light cover, light for, cover infantry. for infantry. Uh, anything with wheels or tracks or well, bigger things than feet. And we'll just drive over them and we will remove them from the game. Yeah. Uh, also remember uh, for buildings uh, you can only fire through or two guys can fire from any opening such as a window or a door. Yeah. So keep that in mind. 
uh, over here we can just do that as well. Uh, the area where you see our troops, uh, we will have two buildings, yeah. or one building in each spot over here. There will be a church here, and there will be a building over here, so they will be in place when we start playing. And the roads, of course, provide uh, double the move. Uh, if you choose to start on the road and then drive over grass and then enter road again, you will not benefit from the double move. You have to start and end or start and stay on the road for yep. the entirety to have double move. Yes, and that's it. Should we say something about your shorts? Well, I know there's a couple of guys who want to get into my... Well, wait, I <laughs> like my shorts. <laughs> See what I did there? There's nothing special about these shorts. They're just... Diff not the same as last time. I have to mix it up. Yeah, so you have to. Every video in the summer will have different shorts. This is going to get expensive. Oh shit. Yes. Anywho. Game on. Game on. And for the Germans. We have a second lieutenant with one extra guy. This one is a, a unit commanded by Colonel Flynn O'Flynn. He will he will be a an allied player, but in this game uh, I just put him on the Axis side to have some um, more equal numbers. Uh, these two guys have assault rifles. Then we have two five-man regular hair squads. Oh, and they are regular. Two five-man regular hair uh, units with uh, rifles. Nothing special there, just your filler. Then you have two six-man squads. Uh, one of them is a um, Grenadier platoon. They have three assault rifles and four of the guys have Panzerfausts. Uh, they also have rifles with, on three of the guys. So three guys with assault rifles, three guys with rifles and four Panzerfausts in that unit. Uh, then we have a uh, Pioneer squad, which uh, has uh, only rifles and a flamethrower at the back. Pioneer squads can include one flamethrower, one guy has to be the loader. Um, both, both these units here are commanded by Carol and Blaney. So they are up for a fight. Uh, then you have a medium machine gun team nice thing about the uh, Germans is that they have five shots on their medium machine guns. Then you have Hickman, this time he is in charge of the sniper, regular sniper. And then you have uh, Sergeant Douglas H. Bunker, he will also be an um, allied player when we get to North Africa. His uh, father actually was uh, Sergeant Douglas H. Bunker and he was fighting for the Desert Rats in the 8th Army, so that is uh, something we want to commemorate when we get to North Africa. Anyway, he is in charge of the Veteran Light Motor Team, which I love to use. Then you have Rooks, this time not a Japanese uh, Type 97, but a Puma, so he will have to do his work. And then you have McCormack, also not in a Type 97, but a Brumbeer. Uh, all, both of these are regular. Then you have the inexperienced truck, which uh, may or may not carry some of these guys. The truck can hold 12 guys. And the US Army, 1000 points of shiny American steel and guns and grits. And Patton, who represents me? Uh, this is a first lieutenant. Uh, he is inexperienced and he has a rifle tucked into his shorts. Um, we have a regular sniper uh, who is today commanded by Captain Rattenbury. Uh, we have uh, a uncommanded, they have an NCO, but an uncommanded uh, inexperienced squad. Uh, seven men, one BAR. We have my second identical squad. Uh, so seven men, one BAR, which is uh, commanded by Giglio. Uh, and thanks for letting Stein getting it right. You could have just walked with me here and let me have it my way, but no. Uh, we have a medium howitzer. Uh, we're kind of short on howitzers today, so the other one that you'll see is actually an uh, anti-tank gun, but it's uh, proxied as a howitzer today. <laughs> Uh, inexperienced howitzer uh, with a spotter uh, commanded by Schaefer. And lastly, in this uh, reinforced platoon, 
we have uh, the M18 Hellcat, regular uh, with recon options, it's fine. Uh, commanded by Charlie Weaver. Taking us to the second reinforced platoon. Uh, a inexperienced second lieutenant. Uh, he has a rifle. We have a regular uh, sniper unit. Uh, controlled today by uh, Seryapov. Uh, same artillery options. Uh, medium howitzer, inexperienced with a spotter. Uh, controlled by gunnery sergeant Bill Blaine. Then we have the US Marine Squad regulars, uh, nine men, two BARs in this squad. Uh, today, commanded by Sergeant Tyro. Then we have my favorite infantry unit of the game, and also one of the two things that my US Army never goes home without. It's the US Rangers. Nine men, uh, one BAR. Unfortunately, not enough points to equip them with the anti-tank uh, grenades that I wanted. And lastly, uh, this is actually an M36. Uh, we're also short on uh, finished Hellcats, uh, so we're going to be proxying this. It's roughly the same, only almost twice the size. Today, controlled by Paul H. And that sums up the US forces, 1000 point in total, uh, and six units that are inexperienced, which is within me and Svein's uh, rules uh, for this game. 1000 points and no more than 50% inexperienced and no more than 50% uh, veteran units. Let's get ready to rumble. Ding ding, start of turn one. Uh, we have done a uh, deployment of the snipers and spotters. My sniper team, my only team that can deploy uh, first, or can deploy before the game begins, is the snipers. Uh, he's uh, set up uh, over here. Oh yeah, you forgot to say why he's standing uh, on the bush instead of on the other side. Yeah. Um, to get through the very thick hedges, infantry has to and stay and their move in base with a the hedge. Then they can either advance or run through next turn. Yeah. Or climb over or whatever yeah. but that will uh, at least make them stop in front so that it emulates or simulates the fact that they have to do a job to get over there yeah. and the Simons are up Rangers lead the way with their special deploy and then run 12 inches so he's already halfway on the table he has an artillery spotter over here he has an artillery spotter here and a sniper team here that is Seriapo our Russian backer yes and then you sniper have team here. Yeah, Captain Rattenbury with the second sniper team over there. So that is all of Damon's uh, deployments. He has deployed five units on the table already. And I have uh, only Hickman. So you got the first one. I did. I have more die after this. We're even. Even, even. My sniper is gonna run. You're going to activate your sniper. That is Seriapo. Yes, he runs in and he runs up. And he runs into the building. There we go. Yeah. He is going to be killing some germs. Uh, we had a uh, bit of a trouble finding out if the rules give you uh, the option of moving up one level when you enter. Uh, I think that you cannot. Uh, we checked the rule book and it doesn't specify that you cannot do it. What it says is that you have to enter on the ground floor on a run move. Uh, but whether that stops you or not... It doesn't say. doesn't say. And then there's another paragraph that says that when you first, when you are inside the building and then given an order, you can advance up one, or, or advance down. out, or run to advance two floors, yeah. or run out. So if you guys got any know-how about this, then please leave a comment. And Arata would always be nice as well, uh, talking to Alessio and uh, the gang. The gang? The gang. Nice to know what we can do. Yeah. Um, other than so that... Anywho, Seriapo, you're on the first... Or peeking out the windows. The ground floor, peeking out, looking at some... Uh, well, trying to find some Germans. But there are no Germans because Damon has a die. And uh, we've decided that there's no more than one unit. 
per, uh, per, per floor, but yep. these rooms are divided. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna run my other guy in there, mm -hmm. in the other room. Yep. And that's it. Okay. So that's, that's, my, your... that's my spotter. spotter. And Germany is up with the first order die. Uh, since Damon chose to put his uh, assignments over here. His assignments? Your assignments. We're officially married. <laughs> I don't think uh, having several husbands, since I, I'm not marrying the dude. It's not allowed to have several husbands in this country. Uh, I don't think the states allow it either. I don't think so. Oh. No. Uh, anyway. But sure, we can get to know each other. Uh, I will issue a run order for my sniper so that they can uh, get away. Yes. Uh, because I don't want to be assaulted by rangers. So you want to be assaulted by marines instead? Yes. Sure. Um, yeah, they will just run over to here. You will pole vault over the wall next turn. Pull vault and into the building so that I have uh, some hard cover over there. Yes, sir. Yes. That's a run order. Okay, another one for the Germans. We are now two for two. I'm over here, Damon. Yeah, I'm filming the pretty stuff. <laughs> and stuff. now we're back to you. Run order. This will be my medium machine gun team led by Colonel Flynn O'Flynn. And of course, his real name isn't Flynn O'Flynn, but it is from a movie. Um, where he actually is a U.S. soldier, but uh, since I how have did you end up with him? Because that will be when we get back to the regular uh, battle reports. For yeah. now, I needed some commanders by my side. Dude, I'm not going to kill him. He's, so uh... that's very nice. <laughs> Would you uh, divulge his real name to the people? Um, maybe later. Let's keep it a secret. Mm. So here's the position of the medium machine gun team, commanding a nice view of Damon. Which have a nice view of Hickman. You have a nice view of Hickman? Yes. With your sniper? Rattenbury. Okay, Captain Rattenbury is going to... Open fire for, hopefully, okay. 36, right? 36, if he hasn't moved, and he has he not has moved. moved. We are at 33 inches right there. Okay. So we are looking at uh, three base, four for long range and five for small team. And then minus one for sniper, so plus, or four, four, four plus. Four plus. Over here. And that's the one. And then, I, you said I didn't roll once, so we re-rolled it. <laughs> <laughs> and we forgot to place the buildings we talked about, so here they are in all their glory. One church uh, where you can shoot with uh, two guys out that door. Or this building where you can shoot with six guys out the window, door, and the window. Here's something else that's glorious. That is Mr. Schaefer. Mr. Schaefer is glorious, and yes. he comes in bringing with him a medium howitzer. Bringing the pain. Yeah, and he has a spotter attached. Is that the guy in front? That's the spotter. Yeah. Um, thinking. Then I'll pause. So this is where they ended up in the. Uh, corner at uh, Damon's left side Boom. my right flank yes so that's a run order you can run up to six inches advance order will let them rotate up to 90 degrees so the spotter is spotting for the howitzer way over there over there we are yeah but you have died Germans have died, and that will be a run order. For what now? For a regular five-man here unit. Who's coming down to handle my howitzer? Yeah. <laughs> Possible. Possible. Twelve run. Twelve inches run. Through the opening and into the fire. Ooh, I gotta find something that can shoot at those guys. So here my hair ended up. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, put ourselves in uh, harm's way. Well, away from his direct line of fire, but of course he has a sputter, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he can see me from over there. Um, but anyway, Patton. I'm gonna die. Patton will advance. Your HQ, this also is... Also known as me. This is the inexperienced first lieutenant. This is the inexperienced first lieutenant. Run! He's running up to the hedge. Over the hedge. There we go. And that's it. So, in typical pattern fashion, forward, you some bitches. And I got another one. Yep. 
and that's a run order and I measured up so he will get right around here 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 it's a hair squad so they should get there here they're here we're done we're done so my second five-man hair squad is moving up parallel to the other one mm -hmm. and uh, in the meantime us up mm -hmm. uh, that's a second lieutenant in the building with a run order. Yes. Another German. My HQ is running up to the hedge. And that's it. And here is uh, the HQ represented by me, or they are representing me on the battlefield. And Damon, you have the die. I have Gunnery Sergeant Bill Blaine. With another howitzer, he can shoot directly from that position, since he is behind a stone wall. Yes. So that's your move? That's my move. And from the HQ, we move to a light mortar team. Yes. And a new German die. A new German die. This is uh, Sergeant Douglas H. Bunker. And he is going to run over, over here. And the reason why the mortar can run is because it's man-packed. Yes. So, these three portable and D3 uh, fits. fits. So the light mortar team is in position. Can't see Jack Shiite, but... Uh, Jack Shiite? But still. They are. can't see Jack Daniels. But they can't see you. That's the uh, NCO of this unit. His name is Jack. Last name Daniels. Okay. He will uh, perform a run order. Okay. So he's running and turning and getting behind some hard cover. Yes. And that's the movement of the Jack Daniels unit. Which doesn't have a named they, commander. Yeah, no named commander. They are uh, inexperienced. Inexperienced. So, no. Yep. Another one for the US. Giglio. Giglio. And your, as I said, your punishment for letting Sun in is being inexperienced. Okay, and by winning he means I pronounce his name 50% correct, <laughs> while you pronounce it... Completely wrong. Yes. Um, they will get a run order. Yep. And they are running up to support... Up to support the middle. The middle, and it's his inexperienced seven-man squad, yep. six rifles, one BAR. That is correct. Okay, so they end up over there. That's it. It is? It. More dice for the germs. The germs have one uh, uh, die ready, and that's a run order for Commander Carol. Should I be zooming on that name? Why are you turning the flag towards you? I can't see who... Because I showed it to you, and then I turn it back. Still, they should be facing the camera. They? Or it? It. Actually, they, because there are several. So, all of them should be facing the camera. Alas, okay, and he will get up to here. And then Sign will turn, or we will turn every name towards the camera from now on. <laughs> so piling up the alley. And? Piling up the alley. <laughs> with uh, Sergeant Tyro. Okay, Sergeant Tyro is you see, up. You see how this works? You have the name pointing that way. To the camera. That's very nice. I've taught you well. <laughs> now he's going to claim full credit. Okay. He actually deserves full credit. I'm glad you remember. Usually when we play our normal games we uh, always stop to turn every single uh, little uh, name note uh, towards the camera so that everyone can see who's who. Yeah. So he's actually gonna get credit for that. I'm not gonna take that away. So these are your US Marines. Nine men. Nine men. With two BR, seven rifles. Actually, they're just gonna run into the building so they have hard, hard cover to hard begin with. Cover. Okay. Yep. And that's it. So that's Tyro for you. Yep. Or me. Or you. And I will perform the biggest gamble of the game thus far. Do, 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 do. Wait, stand still. I'm doing scary zooming gambling. Okay. okay. Don't make people dizzy. We are on the road, so my inexperienced truck can move 12, double that to 24 on an advance. And Dude, he has an afterburner. He has an afterburner, that's totally true. <laughs> And since he is carrying a unit, he cannot run uh, because then they, or he can run, of course. But, but then, then they can't disembark. Correct. So your gamble is next die, Whoa. they jump out and they kill uh, Simons. the Simons. 
So this will be a gamble. You will pivot once and then get over here. Like so. Yep. And uh, that means I have to get the next die. Should we just draw it while we film? Yeah, do that. Because that will make or break the game because they haven't... <laughs> it will not make or break the game. They haven't activated yet, so you can activate them. It will maybe make or break a unit or two. Yeah, that's true. Not a game changer. It could be. Game changer is when you draw a one or roll a one for an airplane strike. <laughs> and I'm known. You're known for doing that. Okay, let's see who comes up. No, it's the US. We'll be right back after these messages. Yeah. The gamble that failed. Will Damon, now turn into the gamble that succeeds. That <laughs> he pulled, the ne or I pulled the next die, so that's fair and square. It's equal to rolling a one for an airstrike. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my math says that an assault and fighting the troops inside, since they will have to jump out and fight me, is better than shooting the truck and trying to kill it. Because first I would need a two to hit, since I move within six. That then you can I, make. Yes, and then I would need a six to destroy, uh, to destroy. and odds are I would have one, uh, if we do the math. Uh, well, rolling voodoo, I probably have two. Uh, <laughs> but then uh, the unit inside takes d6 hits, yep. which is also random, but they will go down. Mm -hmm. But I would rather assault and destroy the, the odds be in my favor-ish three hits, so three guys dead. And that would uh, at least uh, be half your unit. Yeah. So, so place your run order. Run! I'm within range. And, and units on board, uh, a vehicle cannot um, react by shooting. The vehicle could have done if they had a uh, vehicle or if it had any weapons, but it doesn't. So my right. unit will be represented by this one guy. Just place them out and we'll, I'll place mine and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, Blaney and Simons, you are up for the first assault of the game. I feel like I'm cheating though. The Simons are two. Blaney is one. Th that's true. Okay, so what have you got? You have got nine? Nine guys. Uh, there's no submachine gun. There's just a BAR, so that's nine attacks. Nine attacks. And your guys are veterans. So killing on fives. How many fives? Two, two. sixes, which I will reroll. Yep. Two guys oh, dead. So two guys dead. Yep. That means I can respond with, with. Uh, four. Yep. Since they're not fighting on the obstacle, I will pause and give you the camera. Yep. And this is the empty space that will now, for sign, hopefully occupy at least three fives. Because then I will win combat. So I lost two guys. I need to kill at least three to win combat. Three fives. That's one, one five. That means the I gamble that failed. Kill only one, and these guys are gone. And the truck will probably be closer to an enemy unit than it will be to my unit, so he will probably go at the end of the turn. And I will do my consolidate move or my d6 move yep. uh, while we pause. Yeah. Okay, my gamble didn't pay off. So you'll gamble again. I only have my broom bar and the puma left. So I'll have to take my chances on the broom bar. It will get an advance order from this position. And this is, as you can see, McCormack coming in. Howitzer, 3d6, yes. deadly. Deadly if I can manage to hit. hit. Uh, it will perform an advance. And a slight pivot. And a slight pivot, so that I will benefit from hardcover here. Um, and I can trace a line from my gun to the hedges. So he will get light cover. Yes, sir. Uh, we have three basic movement, four range. It's a heavy howitzer, so it has a range of 72. This is 32, mm -hmm. 33. So I'm good there. So it's no modifier for long range, but it's a modifier for light cover. So five. Five to hit on one die. Now you get, need the five as well. Oh, it's a six. It's a miss. No, I'm kidding. It's a hit. It's a hit. Three to six hits. This and is gonna. This is, and this is when I take eighteen dice <laughs> and kill none. Okay, so three to six. Three to uh, six. The average will be around nine for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Your average, for yeah. Anders, it would be three. Let's say nine hits. Ooh. That's above. That's uh, thirteen. Thirteen hits. 
13 hits, you need 5s to kill since uh, they are veterans. Uh, they go down. Yeah, they can do that. Mm. Uh, no, they can't because they performed that action. That they did. That they did. Uh, 6, 12, Oh, um, while you hold the die, yeah. I've had a guy asking me where you got the dice from. He likes These the, guys? Yeah, he likes the sound of them, so he's looking to buy some. Actually, I have no idea. These have been with me for many, many years. Yes, we are nostalgic. He so has no either. idea. Yeah. Well, I can tell you about my favorite die, who seems to be on and off, is they've been with me for 16 years. I have no idea where I bought them. Probably my first tournament. Anywho. Fives to kill. 13 hits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two sixes. Two sixes. Three sixes. Three sixes. Where's the other one? It's right there. Oh. Are you blind? Am I blind? So that's five kills. That's five kills. And... No NCO or BAR. Five kills. Uh, how many pins? Oh, that's a lot. Um, you have it on. The I'll film you pointing and it's looking dumb. Heavy mortar. Heavy heavy howitzer. Heavy howitzer is. Doesn't say. Three six six. Doesn't say. No, look at the, it has three six up to the left, up to the left, up to the left, uh, next to the panther. D six uh, pins. D six pins. Here comes D six pins. No! I'll take that any day of the week. So there's only one pin. And we're no, oh, we forgot something. It has plus four penetration. So all your guys are gone. I'm sorry. They probably are. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, that's no problem. I killed you, you killed me. I'm sorry. I know gloating is one of my strong points, so I don't want to do it. But I'm going to do it. He pulled the, his last die and he I has did. to bring the puma in. I have which to. leaves two. these two puppies. Yeah, one Hellcat and one M36. Which yeah. doesn't have recce. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather take the Hellcat. <laughs> okay, so I'm on the road, wheel vehicle, 24 inches of move. That means I can move up to here. Um, so Brooks, you're up, staying one inch away from my uh, my thing, my your, truck. Your thing. And that truck is now closer to me than to the enemy. Yep. How far is it to these guys? It's just 18. Mm -hmm. Actually shorter if I measure from the gun. But we don't do that. We do measure we? from the hole. Yeah, measure from the hole. So we're talking movement. We are talking, uh, uh, let's see, that's three. Uh, movement four. Long range five. No, or, not long range. Not, not long range. Uh, Hardcover sixes. Yeah, so sixes. Four shots hitting on six. Uh, let's do them over. In the box. In the box. No! <laughs> so that was some uh, fine shooting by Brooks, but sadly he missed. And look what we can see over here. Brum, 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 bar. Brum, bar. This is the M36 that proxies the Hellcat. So he's moving up. Yeah, roughly 12 inches of move. Okay. And he's going to perform a shooting action. Yes. Run away. Uh, so that's uh, a movement. Basic and three, movement four. Four. I get no cover since you can see me. I do think I want to recce away because four is a little bit too. Yeah, and you remember what happened last time? Always do the. Always recon. Notice. So Paul H has performed a scare tactic on me, and all you can see of my puma is the dust gun barrel from where I wrecked away to. Yes, you reconned a way to that. I might have to say that for the three next games, but not today. Let's hope. Okay, you have another uh, have M18, the Charlie, proper M18. Charlie Weaver in a proper M18, which so is mine. Want to pause? My only painted model on the table, yes. This Hellcat is painted by Damon himself. Yay, me! The only um, model that's actually mine on the table. And note the uh, flag on the rear. You'll see this on every <laughs> vehicle model I have. And you are going to do a recce move? No, I'm not going to do a recon move. I'm going to shoot at your recon vehicle. Okay, so you're going for Brooks. Yes. Whoa. So Brooks, you are up for a, uh, well, not a rear shot, but a side penetration. Side shot. And I get no hard cover because you can see more than 50%, but I do get light cover. Yes, so we so. have basic three, movement 
four and softcore five. Yeah, uh, because this is range. it's within thirty six, isn't it? Uh, Twenty eight. Yeah. So that means you have one shot hitting on fives. Well, that's another one. I told you those dice crap. So I don't care. I'm using them. All important first die of the game, the turn two, will be put to use on my sniper, not uh, my uh, puma or my something. That's good. That's good for you, but um, I want to try to take out Captain Rattenbury. Rattenbury. Rattenbury is going down. Same as I needed. I need a 40 Four. hit. And that is because of long range and small team. Snipers ignore cover. The good thing about snipers though is when they shoot at team weapons, if they hit, it's exceptional damage and the team is destroyed. Yep. Okay. So uh, and the reason why he hits on a 4 is because he's a sniper, so he gets plus 1 to hit. Yeah. So the base for them is always 2. Uh, so 4 to hit. Mm -hmm. And that's a 2. You've upgraded my 1 to 2. two. All important second die also goes to the Germans. Uh, this will be the much expected by Damon fire order on the Cormac. Uh, I didn't know that I was going to have the second die, but I was gambling again, and this time it paid off. Although I didn't hit his sniper, which was a sad thing. We have a stationary howitzer shooting over light cover. This hard cover doesn't count since I'm up against it. Shooting over light cover. Uh, the range is. Very short. Very short, 26, 25, so that's within half range of my uh, heavy howitzer, which has... You can end this entire charade by saying you're shooting at my M18. I need a 4 to hit because... He's running away. Oh. We'll be right back oh, after these messages. Away. Oh. All important third die in the game. In a row. That's unheard of in tabletop battle world. Yes. Uh, I will use my um, Puma. You're and gonna since, try to make me recon again. Yeah, since I came from here, I can go back to here and have a clear line of shots. So a four to hit. Four to hit. Me. Movement. So That's you it. are shooting at the Hellcat. I'm shooting at the Hellcat. Yep. And we'll be right back with a new die since I am reconning. You're reconning. Uh, also, yeah. The reason why this thing is a flame is he was fifteen and a half inch away. While the Hellcat was 14 and a half inch away. Yeah, and it states in the rules that the unit that is closest, any kind of unit, so it doesn't have to be infantry, unless it's an, another empty transport. And the uh, all important fourth <laughs> die. It's also mine, but you have removed two dies already for your. Yeah, it's still four in a row, jackass. <laughs> uh, that will be an advance on Commander Carroll. I really don't need to measure because I have six inches of movement. So I'm just going up against the wall. Yeah, I'll go up against the wall and shoot. Ooh. Uh, At the guys who just screamed out, Ah, where's our cover? Where's the cover gone? Since uh, the uh, M18 just took it away when it reconned. Away. Uh, if we end up drawing in the amount of dice, we will go to how many points are removed. So please don't kill my uh, room bear because it's over 300 points. Yeah, that's roughly one third of your army. That's pointing and that means only my three front guys can shoot. Yep. Uh, though they, they have assault rifles, which is a good thing. They have two shots each, so that's six shots. They don't get a penalty for movement. So that's uh, three basic. Four for long four range. For long range and five for light cover. Where do you get? Ah, oh, yeah, I'm shooting through that shit. Yes, you're through, shooting through that shit. Through that shit. So five. Five over here. And that is one. one hit and killing on four. Threes because they're inexperienced. Oh, that's right. So that's a kill. That's a kill. And a pin. Carol, you draw first infantry blood. No, that was McCormick. He drew a lot of infantry blood. He drew a lot of infantry blood. German. Well, you yes, you killed the infantry first. I killed first. You did? Yes. And now I will hopefully kill more. Okay, so that's open fire. Okay, the sniper, Captain Rattenbury, is going to perform a shot at... This is interesting. No, you don't. Team weapon goes away. Uh, three, four. normal. Four, because of long range. Back to three, because of sniper. Yeah, this is not a small team. One. Two. Two. I upgraded. Oh, that's close, dude. <laughs> that's close. Next. So a miss from Captain Rattenbury. 
and you have another die yes. which will be a advance order for your marines this is the squad with two BARs. Yes. There's a lot of shooting going on there. Nice firing positions. And they are going to shoot. Mm -hmm. So what is Tyro's target? He's targeting Carol. 21 inches right there. So everyone is within, but not within half range of the BAR. So that is uh, hardcover. And long range, fives, two, no, sixes. Three basic, four, five, and long range, six. Yeah. With so the nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen die. You have no, you have seven infantry and then four shots from the VR, so that's eleven. Or I count again? Seven guys, yeah, I counted the VARs shooting rifles as well. Yep. But they don't. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 2 for one beer and 2 for another. Yeah. So 11 shots, what do you want to roll? 6 is to hit. 6 is to hit, because of... Oh my, that's 3. So that's 3 hits, killing on 4, since these are regular. And that is 4, no, 3, three kills, and possibly... No, 3 dead. 3 dead, that means I have to take a morale check. So three guys removed, I removed the three riflemen, that means uh, three Panzerfausts are also gone. I only got one Panzerfaust left, uh, since I have More four. importantly, you have the assault rifles. I have three assault rifles. Uh, since Damon promised me, I would get no, no nowhere near the M18s. Exactly. Um, eight. Eight or less, because of one pin. Well, that's six, so they stay in the game. Want to just pull a new die while we... Yeah, let's do that, go. let's pull a new die. We don't often do that on camera. No, we don't. It's a German. Yeah, and an American. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Should I pause? Yeah, you must pause. I have been thinking. And it's a <laughs> rough move. <laughs> I've taken the seated position since he uses for freaking ever. Forever! Run move on these guys. Uh, the first back guy will get to the... The furthest back guy? The furthest back and the frontest front. What the heck was your grade in English at school? Actually, I actually had a five. Six was the best. And I had um, I had six, the best character, or the best grade you can get in uh, political history. And, and hence the reason why he likes World War II. Yeah. And why we're probably gonna pick up a game eventually that's my favorite. Well, it's not my favorite war, but it's my favorite era. It's the Lincoln era. Really? Black powder. That's new for me, but I'm game. So nice running to watch my building. Oh, wrong. wrong oh, actually, not wrong floor. Oh. I need to pick out my sniper. Sniper. So he's getting an advance order. He's going up one floor. Okay. I'm having a very nice line of sight out the window too. Absolutely everything on the battlefield. Yeah. Well, except these guys. Yeah. Maybe. He will shoot, or the guys will shoot their rifles. Yep. Is it, do they have two? No, it's just a sniper rifle that functions okay. as a The other one has the a other pistol. pistol. You got one shot shooting as a rifle, that's 24 inches of range. And they will open fire on... Something. Something. These guys. Okay, so Seriopo is uh, getting some pain. Uh, long range, so... Force. Two. Two. Miss. Told you those dice are crap. Don't care. And we've just discovered math is not science strong suit. Well, don't come here, you Mr. 13 dice with your guys. We already knew math wasn't my strong suit, <laughs> but now you're proving your lack. So, Jiglu, you are up. Jiggly, you. What was it? Six. Six. So, they are good. He needed a nine since he has his first lieutenant. Or, that's actually a representation of Damon. Yes. So they are that's why it looks six. so good. Thanks to Paul H. Paul H. painted him. Um, so, he's moving up. And that's an interesting positioning. If you're going to shoot at something, you need to be more over to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. To your right. If you're gonna hit something over here, at least. 
that is where I want to move. Where is the laser, laser pointer thingy? You reached it, so you are good. Oh well, my guys can see some something of your guys. Nope, not the guy in front, but the rest can. Okay. So hard cover for you. That it is anyway. Oh, range. They were within range. I'm guessing these guys are as well. Yeah, we're at 22 at the guy that's in the back. Yep. Uh, so that's two, three, four, five, six. Because six of shots. the BAR. Yes. Yeah. So five guys shooting. Five guys shooting. Six shots. Uh, basic of four. Hard. We long range five. Hard cover six seven. Yeah. And the basic is four because they are inexperienced. Yes. So six, four by six. Oh, dear me. That's Should two be sixes. Five. Yeah, it's two sixes. Followed by... No more sixes. Thank you. And we're done. Luckily, Carol didn't get hit by Jiglio. But now he has another die, which will be put to use on... Something. That medium mortar getting in fire order by that spotter over here. He is commanding a nice view of the battlefield. And he will spot. What will he spot? Something spotty. That's your short. Yes. <laughs> He's going to spot your machine gun team. Okay, machine gun team is spotted. The range of the medium is 60. And we're at 46. Yeah, so no problem. Six is to hit. Six to hit when you start ranging in. You're good at rolling twos. Yes, it's my thing. So Colonel Flynn of Flynn, commanding the medium machine gun team, is now being hit on a five the next turn. And in the meantime... Run. Run order with his next die. That's 12 inches, bringing him up to right about there-ish. Yeah, okay, Yep. so move the first guy and let's see where he ends up. Well, you can just move him. You're right about there. Right about there. Here-ish. Yep. Ish. So that's the first and the others will follow suit. Suit. There we got to say it. Three. Not one for the Germans. Uh, the all I important something die. All important something die. I have pre-measured. So this will be run order. Uh, if I can't find it. Have you ever had those moments where you can't find the correct order? Nope. And the question is why do I... Why don't I just find it when I figure out what to do? I don't know. Here's two five-man squads. Together they make ten. And if they're lucky, they will be spotted the next turn by my spotter. Oh, so he's moving up. He's moving up in the world. Okay, so he's going into the other part of the building. There we go. So the spotter is in position, and remember we counted this as um, a building. So he will be killed on sixes. Yes. Even I though he is inexperienced, he would normally be killed on a tree. Die. Are you going to die? No. I run into the building and hide. Nowhere near a window. Okay. But I do think I can still shoot at him. Go nuts. That's it. So that is you, Damon, that is running me. into the building. Yes. That has now... Well, the space that was occupied, then became unoccupied, and now it's occupied again. Yes. It's occupied. I have another die. This will be uh, Sergeant Douglas H. Bunker getting an advance order. The light mortar. The light mortar that you love to hit. Okay, quick question. Um, you can advance over it. Uh, yeah, I, I can. But if I'm behind here, yes. can I see him on the second floor? Yes. But, then I, but then I can see you. With him, yes. And, and the sniper. And the sniper. So... Really doesn't matter. Sniper ignores slight cover or cover at all. So let's just move him over here and uh, I'm gonna shoot indirectly mm -hmm. at the spotter. The sniper! The sniper! He's within. He said tentatively after checking the range almost <laughs> full out. I yes, didn't. six is to hit. Uh, that's an advance and it's a six to hit since I'm shooting indirectly. So here's the six over here. Oh! Six D3 hits. D3 hits, but 
we have to do a check now uh, because since I'm shooting on a, uh, it can explode on the roof. Explode. Explode. D3 uh, hits regardless, I think. We'll be right back. That, that, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so the rules state that uh, if I hit, if I shoot indirectly on a building, I need to roll a new die after I hit, and that is to see if it explodes on the roof and or the uppermost uh, uh, floor, or if it goes down. So on the 4, 5 and 6, I will hit the sniper. And on a 1, 2 and 3, it will go down into room below and hurt no one, since the HQ is in technically the, the other room. The other room. So since we divided it up at the start. We divided it up, we will not do it again because... No. It, floor is floor. Yeah, the rules refer to floor, not the uh, rooms. So 4, 5 and 6. So it explodes downstairs. It goes down and does nothing, sadly. You scared me. So... He didn't get the die. You did. I did, but it's the last, last die remain, uh, are his, so that's why I'm taking camp. Uh, my remaining uh, second lieutenant will just go down. Yeah. So that was your order die, now mm. I have two. Mm -hmm. uh, that means my medium machine gun has to move so that I don't shoot over hardcover, granting you hardcover. And removing the uh, range in. Ranged in, so he will move over here and command a 45 degree angle. Taka taka. Taka taka. So that is... Uh, Colonel Flynn O'Flynn, moving up, uh, like that, and then I want to do a bold move with my HQ, which is me, and as you may or may not know, I am bold, bald? No, you're not bald, <laughs> and you're not bold in the other sense either. I'm not? No. Why? You just ain't. Thank you very much, David, you're so nice. I'm very nice. Uh, so if you if you notice us when we start filming, we're usually always nice and polite. But as the evening progresses and sign procrastinates, and time is now ticking to eleven o'clock. Sounds like something you do on the toilet. Procrastinate. You don't know what it means, do you? No. Nope. No. Let's roll die. Uh, anyway, these guys have assault rifles. No penalty for moving. And uh, it is long range, and it is light cover. Have you checked range? If you are within 24 at all. Yeah, I checked, I checked. Oh, yeah. You want to see again? Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Yep. No. 23. No, something. that was close. No problem. Yes. Uh, three, three basic, four for light, light cover. cover. And long range, five. So four shots hitting on five. Yes. That is one. It's so it's a pin. pin. And that's good since you're inexperienced, killing on trees. And that's a kill. So one guy in Jiglio's. Unit is and dead. We'll be back with round three. Okay, start of turn three. <laughs> you got the first. <laughs> <laughs> Since we lost battery. Die. Uh, die. And we're driving right back to where we were. Okay. Mm -hmm. One pivot. And opening fire. That's gonna be a move and law and uh, movement. That's four. three up to four. Uh, if I wreck your way, then he can come with the guy over there. Like that. And I will have to get away from both of them. You can only recon once because you go down at the end. That's true. But I have, and I haven't done anything. You know what? I'm gonna weather the storm. I know we shouldn't do this, but uh, I have to. Now I roll a one, or no, a two. Let's see, I'm rolling two. Round one, I roll once. Round two, I roll two. So it's a three. Okay, still a miss because you need a four. Yeah. Oh. Please, please, please. Ah, three. <laughs> <laughs> that's voodoo. Yeah, you said it. But that's a miss. It's not what I wanted though. <laughs> Swain very happy with himself. And I got the all important second die. And uh, of course I have a few options over here. But uh, I need to do Sergeant Douglas Bunker. Because he's going... What? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do him. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's a fire order on my light mortar. Yeah, you're fire... Yeah, let's just shoot, shoot my sniper. I'm hitting on a two since I am. Who are you hit. shooting at? Your sniper. Yeah, but Seriopov. What? Seriopov. It's our Russian friend. Yes. Uh, as we talked about, I need a four, five, and six to explode in the room I want it to explode. Yes! How many, How many hits? D3 hits. That's three. And. Killing on three. Since the it's a uh, normally it's four and it's got one pen so three. Yeah, uh, and in bu in buildings normally six, but it states in the HE section on the rulebook. It doesn't apply. 
does not apply uh, when hit from indirect fire from the from uh, from above. Death from above. So he's gone. Yes. Sniper gone, Seriopo. I'm very sorry, man. No, you're not. I'm sorry. And the unfortunate uh, sniper is removed. So sorry, Seriopo. You're not sorry. Not one bit. You got to die. You were enjoying. I got to die. You're enjoying this. Perhaps a little bit too much. Let's see, do I want to advance? I'll get to here, you still get light cover. If I stand still and shoot, we are looking at three, four for the long range, five for soft cover, and six for small team. Yeah, you're going for me? You're going after me? I'm going after you. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. But I have to move a few guys so that everyone can shoot. Yeah, but you have no penalty for moving, so that's. So I'm going for you. Okay, you're going for me. This is Sergeant Tyro in action with his US Marines. That would be. There we go. So, uh, a fire order. Okay. We are looking at a base of three. Yep. Moment, uh, no movement. <laughs> Basic no three. Movement. Long range uh, four. Small team. Five. Light, light cover. cover. Six. Yeah. And uh, 100 shots this time. <laughs> <laughs> Not 13? No. So sixes. Uh, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven shots hitting on sixes. Please miss. Please. How many? How many? One. One. One six. One six. Okay. Killing on fours. I'm regular. No. Thank you. But okay. I got a pin. Okay. I have given a fire order to Hickman. You gotta die. Is what you're trying to say. I didn't try. You're to gonna say repeat <coughs> process. Sergeant. No. Okay. What did I write there? Captain. Captain Rattenbury. One of our new patrons yep. is being hit by a sniper. So we need four. We have discussed that a few times. Yes! It's a six. He hits. And I kill on four because they're regular. Yes. Yes. If I kill, the team is gone. No! But you got a pin. No! Yes! I'm going to try a gutsy, bold, brave move again. This is what I'm going to be known for. Guts. Guts. I think I've picked on you enough to make you halfway famous for that already. Um, so I will just move super short. No! Oh yes! This is the only threat to my... <coughs> to my Paul H. <coughs> so one inch away. Uh, movement is negated by super short range, so I will hit you on the tree. Um, I'm gonna recon. We'll be right back. Yep. Four. Very, very scary. Okay, so Damon used his recce uh, move, uh, moved, and is above six inches. That means I am now not benefiting from super short range, which means I have the movement penalty, and that's a four. Mm -hmm. So here is a four in the cage. I'm gonna cry. Yes! No! Two to glance, three to penetrate. It's a plus five versus five, front. Six. So yeah. I, I, I dropped it. I dropped it. Uh, I dropped it, it's true. Yeah. You, you you dropped it, then I can use that as yeah, that's why you won the game. Penetration? What kind of results? I dropped it, but uh, what do you think? Is it fair? No, I'm gonna use it against you later. Fuck that. Um What kind of results? Uh that was eight, that? so it's not um, dub three over. Nope. Three, so on fire. Uh yeah. That means a moral check for me. But this is... Yeah, that it is. Uh, and one pin. Yeah, but let's just see if he yeah. or dies or not. He doesn't die. He doesn't die, so he has... But he's, uh, uh, he's got one pin. And probably another. Let's, there is uh, something else. On fire. There we can knife. If you're going to be able to add an additional pin, so that's two. Uh, I did the moral test. Oh, 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 you know what? Place in down order, that's no problem. Do you know what? I think I think you just pause. Some awesome shooting by Brooks only results in a or two pins. Uh, the thing I was thinking about was uh, open when topped. open topped, but it's only hit by indirect fire. You add one on the damage. Re re they get it. They get it. So on fire, not destroyed. Advance. Advance. Where are you gonna recon to? So Damon does an advance order, 
blocking my way. Now, of course, this led to us frantically checking the rulebook. Um, for anything that can uh, say that when he starts his recon move, he can drive over me. But we didn't find anything about it, which I suspected. Uh, because I was in the mindset that the main rule of you have to move uh, you cannot outside of one inch and end your move outside of one inch of your uh, opponent's models or your own. Well, at least end one inch away from your own. Yeah. Still applied in this case. And yeah. we didn't find anything, so sign is now effectively blocked off. Yeah, the only rule that allows me to run over his infantry is that if I assault, assault with a run order. Yes. And I cannot do that uh, with my back because it says that I have to drive forward. So this is actually a death trap. Starting with number one. But so did you get another die? Oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking for granted. Where's the dice bag? It's under the... no, yeah, under the rule book, isn't it? There it is. Who gets the next one? Who gets it? You. Oh. Okay, as I was saying, <laughs> let's start with number one. Okay. So, uh... Hardcover. Hardcover. Hitting uh, on fours. No, it's uh, inexperienced. Yeah, it's inexperienced. It's sixes to hit. Yeah, yeah, because uh, anyway, it would be it would be five because the base is three. Then inexperienced four, hardcover five six. So I'm, let's see, I get a side shot here. Yep. So it doesn't matter if I try indirectly or not. Correct. Uh, so sixes to hit. Six to hit. Okay, that's a two. The usual two. Mwah, mwah, mwah. No, it's upgraded to three. <laughs> and I'm done. Okay. So Gunnery Sergeant Bill Blaine is shooting on an easy target and misses. It's behind hardcover. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> uh, Damon was contemplating moving his uh, Hellcat up and then taking a shot at me. I'm gonna move some troops to make sure that I am well that I actually have good space to do yeah, this. Because if we move like that, he has to drive away from uh, Giglio and then possibly he won't be able to have a shot outside of one inch from uh, Tyro, so he has decided to move Jiglio. So this is where Jiglio ended up, and uh, Damon will now shoot at these guys. And the we have, BAR? Yeah, we have measured. Yeah, the BAR is within short range, so it's gonna hit on a 4. Since they are inexperienced. And the rest will hit on a 5. Okay. It's a long range. So let's do the BAR first. That is one hit. And then we have rifles. Hitting on fives, that's one hit, so two hits. Killing on four since these are regular. One dead. One dead. And a pin. And a pin. So here we have the Mexican standoff with Damon's death trap. Very clever move. Didn't yeah. see that one coming. Yep. Open fire if I make the test. Okay, so the sniper. Fubar? Nine. Nine. So Defense. they go down since they are regular. So that's Captain Rattenbury. Pooh! <laughs> so, Captain Rattenbury, Down. good luck next time. Down but not out. Yes. And now... Hopefully not. Uh, now we are going to indirect fire something. Indirect fire something the with the spotter over here. He's going to try to indirect kill... The knocker? No, the medium machine gun team again? Yes. So hitting on a six. Yes. Three. Three. So five next turn. Range in. So Captain or Colonel Flynn of Flynn, you are back to being hit on five. Three. And this guy is going after the the Pumba. Pumba. He's activating his Hellcat. And remember, since he's now moving on uh, something else down the road, he does not get the double move. Question is now: Can he trace a line of sight? outside of one inch of his own units and I would say that he can that's just just, only just but we will allow it since we are very nice at letting you get away with rolling once when you accidentally drop the dice I dropped it yeah it wasn't the designated drop area anyway designated drop area what are you landing seals <laughs> uh three basic baby seals hard cover fives to hit Five, Damon, come on, miss. Because I can't wreck you away. No, don't load it. No, 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 no. So that's... Uh, yeah, that's seven. Heavy. So that's uh, auto glance. Yep. 
since you are hitting me with a uh, penetration of six versus my side armor, Which plus gives one. Me a seven and plus a minimum of one, so it's at least a glance. Yeah. And it's, it's a glance. At least. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. D3. Minus. It's a one. It's a one, so that's screw stunned and go down one pin. Yep. I'll apply another pin. I had one additional pin marker so for the vehicle. Two pins on Brooks, and he goes down. So Charlie Weaver moves up, takes a shot and hits, but luckily for me it's only a glance right. and only two a crystal. Two pins. I'll take so. the two pins. Uh, I got to die. I'm going to run into the what we've designated as the next room. The uh, reason why I do this is when he starts to mortar my spotter, if he misses my spotter, he might kill me. Now he can't shoot me because, well, I'm not in the under room below. That's so it. you are doing a tactical we, or what we know as a walk, 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 walk. <laughs> yes, I am. And you're holding the camera again because I pulled the last die that I have, which is being given to my commander in the building. He goes down, yep. which means you have shitloads of dice. I have the rest, and that is the first order is going to be a fire order on me. My H you're going to shoot yourself? You wish, wouldn't you? Um, no, I like Order it. test? Yep. They give uh, more of themselves, I'm testing on a 9. 10. I go down. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. Next. Okay, these guys. Mm -hmm. Carol shooting at Sergeant Tyro. Yep. Uh, Moral test plus 1, so they are also testing on a 9. Yep. That's Ooh. an 8. That's good. That's six shots, basic three, long range four, hard cover five, six. Yep, so Sergeant Tyro, you're hit by six shots, assault rifles. Nothing? Nothing. That's not good. And? Medium machine gun. Yep. Jolly Weaver, your M18. <laughs> Are you going to brave it or will you recon? He can. Five shots, Hitler's Basso. <laughs> Gonna stay. You gonna stay? Yeah. So what you, do we got? You got three basic. You got four for light, light cover. cover. And you are within eighteen, so that's it. Four. Four for light cover. Five shots. That is two hits. Yeah. Can't do you, anything else. No, so pin you. You put a pin on me. I did put a pin on you. And we're looking at next thing. Next thing is going to be these guys. Mm -hmm. Order test on. Eight. That's a nine, so they go down. down. That's not uh, what I was hoping for. But pinning is an important part of this game. These guys, however, do not have a pin on them. They saw their friends get scared, so they have to take a pin. <laughs> they will take a pin because they saw the other guys. They will advance six, and I want to actually go up here so that they can shoot at your guys mm -hmm. over there and stay one inch away from your own so that's five guys five guys let's just be nice and check yeah that light. should be fine light cover so three basic four for movement i got three first guys are within short range okay so you do them first so the three first guys are three movement four light uh cover five. light cover five that's one, one hit, and then and two then guys two. at six. Oh, six. No. So one hit. One hit and one kill, hopefully. Yes. One kill. I'm gonna take the rear guy. Yeah. And, and then one pin. And then lastly, the Brumbar. Brumbar. Uh, he is now going to. Thing is, you have to force Charlie to move back, otherwise. He can run away from your broom bar by driving this way and, well, killing your puma, for sure. Yeah, that's true. But if I get the first die, I can take my puma and... Hopefully do something. Hopefully do something. So I think I'll try my luck at shooting at Tyro. Tyro, yes. That will be a short shot. So we're looking at a base of three, uh, four, five for hardcover. Yes. So here's a five. 
No, that's you. That's a miss. And we'll be back with round four. I I got the first one. Oh, you want it to be on film? I want it to be on film. That's very important. What are you gonna do with your puma? I gotta do some order testing. Nine minus two. That's seven or less. Please. Yes. Order fixed. One pin. Now, uh, whoo, I will issue an challenge. No, wait, wrong game. <laughs> I will issue an advance order so that I can get my ass down here so I can do some wrecking away. Um, so I just want to move. How long is this thing? It's four inches, so I want to move five inches like this. Mm -hmm. So around here. Mm, and then do one pivot. That should be nice. Yep. And one pivot and one pivot I can get away there. Then you will get a shot with that guy. Mm -hmm. But still, that's better than nothing. So Brooks, this is it. Do or die. Yep. Are you going to... Let's see. You hit on a three. You hit on a four because of the... Thing is, Super I, I, I say... Uh, yeah, you hit, a, you hit on a four. Uh, I always say uh, recon, but the thing is, if I move Charlie, no, this isn't Charlie. This, this is, is Paul. this is Paul. If I move Paul uh, to get outside of range, I will be roughly here, I think, and then your broom bar can see me. That's true. And that's a penetration of four versus my seven, which is just still as crappy. Yep. Uh, five because no, it'll be four because you are at long range, but you're at side. No, but it doesn't lose penetration. So I get actually plus one for yeah. side also. So uh, I'm I, I have to brave the storm. Are you, are you braving? I have to. Damon is braving. So what have we got? You have three and you have uh, four yep. because of movement, five because of pin, and, and four because of super shock. Yes. In this designated drop area. <laughs> so let's see the four. Yes. First. So it's uh, you need two to glance. No ones. Oh, Damon, you know what that is? That's 11. That's three times. Less oh, screaming, daughter waking. Uh, so that's two rolling <laughs> on the damage charge. Yep. Oops. Well, that's a kill for you. Kaboom. Kaboom. So uh, Paul H got uh, vaporized by Brooks, but uh, know that, Paul, that you will always return since you are Superman. Superman. And, and you have donated Hitler to Anders. And unlimited resurrections, yeah. and you were. You were sacrificed for a good cause. Very. Uh, because now... His Gunnery Sergeant Bill Blaney will try to shoot a hole in your tank. Yeah, the second death trap of Thamans. Master plan. Yeah, Hit I have or... granted him uh, no hard cover for me since he's up against the wall. And he's inexperienced, so will hit me on a four and I will brave the storm. Six. Oh no! Uh oh, so you got plus three penetration since it's medium howitzer. Side Seven. shot, so plus four. So four versus eight. Four to glance. Four to glance. Let's see the one. Six. Oh! That's, that's two sixes in a row. That's ten, so it's not three over. So calling voodoo. Let's see the one now. Three. three. That's on fire. Again, leadership test. But you take two pins extra. Yep. One for getting hit, one for being on fire. So leadership test with a minus three bonus. Well, that's six or less. Or blow up. Brooks. It's on you. No. Oh, no problem. <laughs> We're done. The all important something something <laughs> die. That's gonna be a fire order on my Broom. No, wait. Can I change? Sure. I want to use my mini machine gun team to shoot that weaver again. Bring it. Bring it on it. Bring it on it. So that's five shots. I want to try to pin him so much that he cannot use his. Uh... So what do we have? It was within 18, so hitting on trees? Uh, no, four. Uh, uh, light color. Yep. Yeah. Let's hit. So it's a hit and another pin. Another pin, so that's two for you. And that's it. That's it. And another German die. I'm getting lucky right now. A fire order for Commander Carroll. Uh, after that, uh, Colonel Flynn O'Flynn scored uh, a pin on Lever. 
Now Commander Carroll will use his three uh, rifles. Assault rifles, six shots. Assault rifles, six shots. Any on fives. Any on fives, you want three, recon? Three, uh, no. That's hit. hit, so it's three pins. Mm -hmm. But do remember that he has himself there providing <laughs> two more. I am inside the building <laughs> adding two more. Okay, next time. Again, now I'm getting very lucky. I will get a fire order on myself. Morale check testing on 8 minus 1 plus 1, so 9. That's good. Shooting yeah. on what now? One viewer. So the pin is removed. And these will hit on long range, wet cover 5s. Four shots with the. Uh, I'm two staying by the way, thanks for asking. <laughs> That's another pin, so you're at four pins. Mm -hmm. And that's the only bad thing about the Hellcat, it can be pinned by small arms fire. Apart from that... Perfect. On very su successful shooting by myself, Carol and Colonel Flynn O'Flynn leaves uh, the M18 with four pins. And my sniper is going to shoot. <laughs> yeah, I fooled you. My sniper is going to shoot a at bullet at in your sniper. You're going for my sniper, hitting on four. Or order test, order test, like you like to or, say. Or, order test. Testing on an eight, so you made it. Hitting on a four, like last time. That's a two. I'm back so... to round two. <laughs> Shit. And in case we forgot to tell you, it's now round four. We are so eager, uh, and we also forgot to say that the puma goes down when taking a on fire result. So I cannot recce away whenever he wants or tries to do something. Um, something very bad. Something very bad. I'm going to try to open fire. So this is Giglio. Order test. Testing on 7, so no, actually you were... HQ. HQ, so you were well within. So shooting at the frontmost unit. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's two guys within short range. So the BAR and one rifle. Yep. And one, two, three. Three guys hitting on a five, and three guy, three two shots. Guys, uh, three yeah, shots. Three shots hitting on four. Hitting fives. That's nothing. Nothing. And three hitting on fours. Four. And that's two. Killing on fours. Nothing. Nothing. But a pin. But a pin. Nothing. But a pin. But a pin. But a boom. And that's it. And another one for Damon, which will be. Fire order on Sergeant Tyro. So 111 shots. 111 shots. Shooting at what's your, your HQ? My HQ. That's me. Are you going to kill me? So that's uh, three basic, four for long range, five for small team, and six light cover. Light cover. That's one six. Killing on four since I am regular. And that's a kill, which forces me to take a morale check. I lost my my extra guy. Um, so testing him on mine, since I provide morale to myself. And you go. <laughs> Moral victory. Very. And the shorts are back. Loved by many, hated by me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the shorts only. This is loved by everyone. Oh my god. Anywho, we had a little break since it was uh, midnight last time and uh, some days have passed and we are now back uh, in the middle of turn 4. As Hiding some of in Spine's basement from the scorching freaking heat that's outside. It's very hot. Uh, as some of you might have seen on our uh, Instagram account, I've posted some pictures from this uh, game as it's progressing without showing any details of course mm -hmm. because there are people that are going to watch this and they of course want to know or they don't want to know before yeah, exactly so okay. why don't I use my die and yeah. you stop talking that is kind of hard stop talking or me using my die <laughs> let's uh, open fire okay that one I was fearing that one same target five, five. One. What? You're back with the ones. I'm back with the one. You round, are back to round one. <laughs> Anders, Anders two. And no, no, no. You are Anders reincarnated. No, I'm much better than that. And it's the Germans. Stein has had uh, almost a week planning his oh, move, no, so no, he's from okay, two uh, th days. three days. 
He's had several days planning this, so he should know what to do. Douglas Bunker, you are going to fire at the spotter so that he will get out of commission, at least until he moves. Yes, sir. What am I pointing at? That one. Good that boy. one. Good boy. What do you Hitting need to hit? Six, because it's indirect fire. Yes, sir. First time I shoot. Oh! It's a miss. And what are you going to do now, since you got another die? I will give it a give it i want to give a fire order to this squad over here they are going to peek through jiglio and the fence and try to pin your m18 some more do that uh, so order test order nine test nine minus one pin it's eight that's a nine which we promptly fail and go down down boy i'm gonna do something i didn't plan i was thinking of using these guys in a different way, but I'm gonna attempt to assault the Puma. Okay, he's never done tanks cool. assault before, but since I keep rolling so low with my die, I might as well take a chance. Yeah, and the Puma is down after the previous uh, hits he got, so uh, he can't wreck on or wrecky away. Need a five or less. Since you're inexperienced, and they have to do a tank fair test on a three minus. That's definitely not. <laughs> oh, 11. <laughs> it's almost that was, that was uh, hmm. Interesting. That should be my shooting rolls. Should be. No luck with these guys. But now... HQ down. HQ goes down. That was a heavy uh, thinking uh, round. Very. Very. Another uh, thought of action will be an advance on this squad, which has one pin. So testing round eight also. That's Ooh. better. I should have rolled over there. So one pin removed, and they will then move up six ish. Rear dude can go over here, and the front dude over here, and then the others somewhere in between, like that, one inch away. Mm -hmm. um, Four shots. I will take those shots. How many are actually seen? Everyone. Mm, yes, sir. Can you see? Range. Oh, range. I think it's uh, 24. I'm go not going to shoot at Jiglo, but I'm going to shoot at uh, your M18. So we are at three basic, four for movement, five along range, six because of light cover. That's correct. Four yes. shots hitting on six. Yes. And that's two sixes, so a pin. it's another pin. I don't need to roll for damage since it's uh, small arms far and it cannot damage only pin. Mm -hmm. Okay, new die. Yep. I'm back. Um, Your last die. No. Second last die. Second last die. I have my broom bar. Now it's uh, Hickman the fourth. Um, um, Hickman the fifth. No. <laughs> He's going to shoot at the Rattenbury. Uh, we have done this a few times, so we know it's a four to hit. Yes. Nothing fancy over here. Oh. Uh, you're done. So a die for me, making it easy. He goes down. Or I go down. You that's, go down. That's actually me. I'm gone. You're down. My uh, last die. Yes. This is the broom bar, and I remembered something. There is a medium machine gun on top. It's not on the model, that's why I forgot, but it, it has a medium machine gun with a 360 degree firing arc. Brad Pitt took it and put it on Fury. <laughs> he most certainly did. Um, so I will uh, try to uh, pin Charlie Weaver again on the M18 with the medium machine gun and then hurt uh, Sergeant Tyro with a heavy howitzer shell after that. So we are standing still. We have. Um, of course, it's above 18, so it's 4 for long range and 5 for light cover. Agree? Mm -hmm. So, 5 shots hitting on, no, 4 shots hitting on 5s on the M18. Now I'm reconning. Now you're reconning. So, we'll be right back. And you get to do one shot. One shot with the uh, heavy howitzer after he recons away. Hey, I've already won, he's doing it. Oops. Uh, this will be a six because of uh, hard cover. Hard cover. Are you sure? That's a five. I think it's a five. But is it if it's above thirty-six? No. So it's a five. It's a five. Five for direct fire. 
Direct fire, hitting Sergeant Tyro on a five. Let's do it over here. Yes, you roll. And you will film my reaction. Yeah, just, just, uh, just look at me. Why? No. Because I wanted to see that face. Yeah. We'll be right back with round five. He's got the first die of round five. Are you filming the no. five? Okay. There you go. Good boy. I got the first, the all important first die of turn five. Oh, I'm gonna make a wild guess. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Are this guy is going to shoot. Yeah. Douglas Bunker, you are going to shoot and make me proud. Five plus to hit. Five plus to hit since you missed last time and we are ranging in closer and closer. Are you ready? Yes, sir. No! Oh, I, the face again. No. The face again. It's a four. The face again. Turn. No! The all important second die of turn five. And the repeated action of doing what? You haven't moved, actually done anything for a couple of rounds. I will shoot with Hitman again. On. Your sniper, <laughs> so which four. is Captain Rattenbury, hitting on the floor. And come on, please. No, that's even worse. They're all elusive target. My wife got me. Well, I'm actually pointing at Captain Rattenbury. Huh. Anywho, meanwhile, we uh, we have a sniper duel there, and no one seems to be able to hit. Nobody's winning. But anyway, you got to die, and Fire. we will give. Same target. A fire order to Schaefer to try and take out my mini machine gun team, commanded by Colonel Flynn of Flynn, before I get to move them. <laughs> there's the one again. We we, we have been uh, really suck at this. We have been cursed. Yes, we have. Me again. So this will be a new fire order on this. Well, maybe no. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire order. For the test, on um, 8 or less, since they have one pin. There you go. Yay. Now we'll make it. Standing still. Standing still. Uh, because I think I remember the three guys were inside 12. Yeah. Three front guys. So those are hitting on fours because of light cover. That's it. And the two guys in the back will hit on fives because of uh, long range mm -hmm. and light cover. Mm -hmm. So the fives, two fives. Oh boy, dear lord! And then the three fours. One, so three hits. Three hits, killing on threes. Killing on threes. Since they are inexperienced, Jigio, I'm sorry again. But you lost two guys and, and one, one pin. pin. Not enough to force a morale check though. Want to take out the two rear or front or BAR is in the middle? Oh. Rare. Rare. Actually, I got another one, which means I can complete my master plan. Of removing Giglio from the game. Yeah, uh, I think I want to move, because that will negate my... My... what? Nothing. But I want to be within short, so that I can move up. Move on up! That's an advance. Hopefully I will make the, the hit rolls. Oh. The furthest, rarest back guy. The furthest, rarest back guy will be <laughs> over here, and then the frontest guy. Will frontest, be, furthest, rarest. Will be there, and then these two guys in the middle. Within six, I'm guessing. Yep. yep. All of them within six. So three light cover, four. Yep. Four shots. Yes. Two hits. Two hits. Killing on threes. Killing on threes. Jigio, I'm sorry, but I think you are gone now. One, so that's not gone. Put another pin and one guy gone, I think. This guy. Yeah, not the BAR. <laughs> not the BAR and not the NCO. And you're done? Sorry, Jigio. Me again? I'm. This is like five in a row? I'm feeling quite um, lucky now. Yeah. I haven't rigged the dice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm rolling once and you pull all the <laughs> die. You haven't rigged them at all. My broom bar will uh, move up. And we'll remove one wall and one hedge section. Yep. La wall and la hedge. And what do you know? That should also make me clear of light cover. 
or your light cover. Well, you don't have light cover. You have no, hard, hard, cover. hard cover, no matter hard what you want to do. Um, what do you want to do? I'm gonna put some hurt on uh, you. You are going to shoot. I'm going to shoot, but that will be uh, with the heavy howitzer and then the mini machine gun on Jiglio and try and take him out. Mm -hmm. so let's do Jiglio first. Mm -hmm. That will be uh, within 18. So that is hitting on force because of light cover. And movement. And movement, so that's five. Mm -hmm. That's what I said, wasn't it? No. <laughs> Oh lord. Killing on trees. And there Jiglio you go. is gone. I'm sorry, Jiglio. No, it's not. <laughs> not at all. Look at, look at him. I've never seen him this excited. I think he might feel like he's winning the game. Am I not? He's uh, currently way ahead since, uh, well, he's got two tanks left and I got one. Order die removal and we'll. Will you go no, stop no, no, going no, no, back no, and no, forth? No, 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 no. <laughs> Will you just roll the die to hit the squad? Stop moving back and forth. We are going to do the heavy howitzer. Heavy howitzer. So we need six now since we moved. Yes. And last time it was five. And we can do that. No! Now you're done. Now I'm done. Some nice shooting by McCormick wipes out Jiglio, but sadly he misses on Sergeant Tyro way over here. And now Damon is rubbing something. The dice. <laughs> His sniper, which is Captain Rattenbury. Captain Rattenbury will try to eliminate whoever you have over here, which is Colonel Flynn of Flynn. Colonel Flynn of Flynn. Okay, so you think that I'm going to move since you are... I do. Yeah. Probably a wise... Flurry uh, basic. Four because of long range. And minus one. For being a sniper. Back to three for being a sniper. So that's it. Three to it. That's a four! And killing on four since they are regular. Don't kill! They're gone. Oh, and people, as you know, you can they stop. They probably don't. You can stop the dancing. Uh, snipers, uh, unless it's a heavy weapon, uh, if uh, snipers hit, it's always an exceptional hit. And uh, he can then take out the. Uh, well, not exactly the operator, but. I the shoot gun into itself. the barrel yeah. of your HMG and I blow it up. It's not an or HMG. LMG and I blow M it up. MMG. Or a MMG and I blow it up. You kill my MMG and then the team just leaves the table. So Colonel Flynn of Flynn, I'm sorry, but as you can see from your base, you are totally black and that means you are immortal. So you and will be back. I have to say that I am also truly sorry. That is so cheesy. You are cheesy. Yes. <laughs> it's so nice to Open you. fire, gunner sergeant, Bill Blaine. Okay. Uh, Point blank range, same target as last. Uh, that Puma. That one. Well, will you recon? I princess? will recon. No, where will you go off to? I'll we'll be right just... back. Or yeah, just to move, move me back some outside of your fire firing range, firing angle. So we yeah. have pivot. Yep. And, and I want to be all the way up until the. Uh, why am I filming here? I want to be all the way up until this, so that I can return fire on you next turn. Then you go down. Yep. The next turn I can shoot back within six inches and no penalty for hardcover. Yeah. So that was my plan. Yes. I knew we were going to do that. Yeah. Are you proud? I'm learning. Very Are you proud? Very. Thank you. Okay, so here he is back with the 348 uh, shots. Yes, it's increasing by the rounds. Yeah, and that is because we, of course, make fun about the 13 shots he said the first turn when it was only 11. So, Sergeant Tyro? I'm just mixing US uh, rules with the British rules for every three man. I oh, <laughs> a clever guy. Yes. So, wait, 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 wait. You have Sergeant Tyro shooting at Commander Carroll. Yes, I want to remove your last order die before you get so to the that's roll. long range uh, and hard. Hard cover six is to hit. Yes. How many? Ooh, that's Lots. too many. One, two, three. Three, okay. Can, so can, can, we, can we include fives? We cannot, but you will kill on fours, so that's better. Yeah, for you. I, I will need three fours. Uh, I got no. no. Oh, thank you. Okay. You are a very nice guy. Commander Carroll, you're up. This is my last order die, and uh, we will try to take out the elusive sniper, which goes by the name of Captain Rattenbury. The uh, reason for this is that I need the same amount uh, of score to hit him or Tyro. No, actually it's wrong. You need sixes followed by sixes. Because he six. is a small team. Yes. You want to change your target? None of them are a danger. 
for the no 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 aura danger no I wanna I wanna try and take an aura die I wanna take an aura die you got six die order test first order test testing on nine minus one eight so that's six yep stop moving the the white cover the booths okay so hitting on sixes followed by sixes yep so we need to see three sixes and how many sixes is that zero and then we keep going yeah because you got the rest of the dice yes. So I'm going to move my HQ out, so that you can shoot at him. Since he's fearing this squad coming up. Yes, so he's just going to stand behind the tank. And he can provide uh, morale for the tank. That he can. Or the M18 as it's known. Uh, the HQ over here will advance out. Oh, you're bringing all the balls to bear. You really want to make me undress? <laughs> no. Uh, we are moving this unit. Yeah, where are they going to go? Inexperienced. They are going to run. Run. Uh -huh. That is also known as a blocking tactic. You're not going anywhere. Anytime soon. Here we go. Yep. And Last then. Week. A rally. The all important order of the game, it's, which is it's not really that important because he's not shooting him. He's not shooting him anytime soon. Rally test. Oh, let's see. He has to do it on a nine minus five. That's four plus two is six. You have a first. Or you are a first lieutenant. So I plus have two. And that's eleven. Almost a full bar. So he goes down instead. He goes down instead, but no danger because no one can shoot at him. Round six is up. Round six is up. All important first order die of turn six. Which he happens to get every single freaking time. Fire order on uh, Douglas Bunker. He is going to lob and try to take out the spotter again. So I need a four. Oh yeah! It's a six. He'll probably die. So four, five, six, it explodes here. Yes, and anything else it explodes downstairs. Yeah. And you don't have anyone under. Yeah, that's two sixes in a row! But I didn't call it, so no voodoo for you. D3 hits. Another six. Oh, that's what? voodoo! No, you didn't call it. I said another six. After, okay. after it stopped on the no, six. No, 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 just check the camera. I will check the camera when I edit. Uh, three, hits. three hits, killing on fours. Uh, plus one penetration, so killing on trees. Yep. No, that's inexperienced. Killing on twos. Yes, also correct. Wah, wah. He's gone. He's gone. And uh, that means Schaefer has no spotter. And that means if he want to shoot, he has to move uh, one of the guys or a couple of the guys outside. Or the gun. Or the gun, if he can manage to get it through the hatch. On a six inch move. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Some amazing shooting by Sergeant Douglas H. Bunker. And remember, that is uh, Brian Bunker's late father. He fought in the 8th Army. So we will revisit him when we get to North Africa. Very soon. In the meantime, Damon is up with the all-important second die. Open fire. What are you going to shoot at? Something indirect. Oh, you have a spotter over there. That's correct. I want to take out. I need to take out that spotter too. Uh, where's your, or where is, where, where is, is the, targets? what is your target? These guys. These guys. Spotter can see them. No problem. 60. Should be good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So six is to hit. Six to hit. Two. No. Miss. Two. Thank you. And we have a tabletop battle first. Not this time. But the action I'm going to perform is assault infantry with a eight plus armor vehicle. Uh, we read the rules and um, it states that armored cars or tanks or vehicles with an armor of eight or greater can do this. Yeah. If you're an armored car, soft skin or truck with less than eight, aka seven or less, yeah. you cannot. So he needs to first check if he has the guts to do this. So that's a nine minus three, so that's six. Yes, but it's not me, it's Brooks. You're up. Um, so on a six or less. He is allowed to do a run order. He can move up to 12 inches. Yep. Uh, I, cho I choose not to use my double move on the road. Uh, so I want to end up over here somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, if 
if manage he manages this, I need to take an order test of eight uh, so or less. Since you're experienced. Yes. Uh, if I manage the test, I get to jump aside. Yep. If I fail, they're gone. Yes. So, can be brutal. Can be very brutal. Six or less. Let's go. That's a foobar. That's... There, we got it. But I have no friendlies within, so I just go down. Or we should see what I do, but it yeah. really doesn't matter. Three. It's a three. Where's the foobar? Panic! Run order. Must move as fast as possible away from the closest enemy visible unit. If no enemy unit are visible, it is. It goes down instead. Yeah. So, so I can't go any further. So that's a run order. Not much luck there, Brooks. Um, uh, we have checked the rules and I do not run off the table, just to be sure. <laughs> and you are up, Mr. Anderson. Open fire. 178 shots this turn. Okay, so this is Sergeant Tyro. 178 shots shooting at. Same turret. So Carol. Yes. Hitting on sixes. Tyro, better make it happen. That's the opposite of making it happen. That's absolutely no sixes. No sixes. Awesome. I'm not so sure who is most displaced, Tyro or you? Probably Tyro, because I'm about to kill your sniper. Oh, so here's another four. <laughs> oh, you scored it! One of them actually hit something. Okay, so killing on fours. No! Sniper gone! No! Banzai! No, that's mine. Not anymore. We will shoot. Carol, we'll shoot. You Sign has a die. I have a die. Carol? You're up. We'll try to take out the sniper again. The sniper, also known as Gunnery Sergeant. Oh. Gunnery No, Rattenberg. <sighs> we needed a different solution for these poor, poor patrons whom I confuse. We have had some ideas. We will share them with you later. That's, all. That's, all. That's 20 points. Uh, six guys. Yep. Long range, hard cover. Sixes, followed Small by sixes. Team, six followed by six. So let's see. Uh, Three sixes. <laughs> oh, good call. Two. Close. And sixes. Sixes. Ooh. Ooh. Killing on fours. That is correct. No! Some uh, heavy and tough decisions to be made. It's possibly the last turn of the game. And unlike the round where I, or the previous round where I boasted that he used 30 seconds. He's now used 30 minutes to contemplate this. Um, and I, I'm order. not kidding. Fire, fire order. order on my broom bar. Yes. This will be a heavy howitzer. I don't need to measure because we know he's within. But because you've shot at the target before. I will hit on a 5. Yes. Since it's uh, standing still, 3 and then light cover, no hard cover. So hitting on 5. Fives to Let's see the or six. Fives, fives to kill, pretty much. Yeah, they you know, plus four penetration, so yes. And three to six hits. Yep. So let's see the six. Yes! God, can't believe filming me. Three to six hits. Oh, I love it when the voodoo talks to me. <laughs> Ooh, fourteen. Above nice and two plus to kill. Above nice. 14, let's do 7 and 7. How many guys are there? 9? Uh, 11. <laughs> They're 9. <laughs> so that is 6 guys gone. Mm -hmm. And then the last 7. And they're gone. And they are gone. Sergeant Thank Tyro. Thankfully, they got to do something. They got to do something, but Brumbeer, Heavy Howitzer. I love this machine. Machine gun. Yeah, machine gun. Sniper. Sniper. Six followed by sixes. Such, such a nice player to play against that you remind me. That's very nice. It's, it's gentleman -y. This is gentleman -y? It's tabletop battle. Gentleman-y? Sixes uh, followed by sixes. Mainly machine gun, six followed by six on the sniper because of long range, hard cover and small team. And that's a six and then another six. No. We have already decided what to do. I got two dice left and since I will now do something that Damon refers to as Save dice, save dice. Save points. Save I'm, points. I'm trying to teach him how to think uh, as a tournament player, at least a little bit, since I'm hopefully taking him to a tournament one day. Currently he would just frustrate everyone. 
due to spending lots of time doing Thinking. absolutely nothing, uh, what he's doing is removing his uh, soft spots. <laughs> These guys are liable to be killed by, well, artillery, uh, lucky hits from the Hellcat, sniper, pretty much everything I have except that unit over there. So he's pulling them back, making sure I can't fire at them, yeah, and, and thus saving himself uh, the loss of two, and possibly two dice. And I will do my orders. You. He will go down. Your HQ goes down. Uh, rally. Rally again. On Six plus. Your, uh, your M18. This will be... Ooh, seven. 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 So fail, so he goes down. Again. But really doesn't matter. Uh, HQ is goes down. HQ goes down. Oh, sorry. Why do I have two dice? Uh, because you. They're unit. Yeah, they lost their. Yeah, they don't have a sniper. Spotter. They don't yeah. have a spotter. He's standing close to, so he's gonna go out. Yeah. And four inches. So he's moving down to be able to see something. Just in case, next round. Okay, some people might think this cheesy, but uh, he's within unit coherency, so uh, we don't make a fuss about it. So that is uh, that. And with the last die, I'm going to run. Run! Pretty much back to where I was after, well, running down here to block you off. Okay. Behind the wall. Just in case we get some fancy ideas. Fancy ideas are my middle name. There we go. Yep. So that was all yours. That was all me. One, two, three. No more rounds. Four, five, six, seven round. That's the one. That's so typical us. It ends in a draw. That's so typical us. Yep. We never make round seven. We've never been to round seven. And people might think we are cheating. But they saw me roll the dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Uh, yeah, same number of order die gone. Okay, so... It's a draw. It's a draw. Uh, we will, of course, uh, try to tally up some points and see if... Uh, I think you're fairly winning, <laughs> fairly much winning. I think, but we can, we can just put a side note on it. Yep. But uh, this was the grudge match between Damon and me, and what does that mean? You have to say Recky for one and a half game, and I have to say Recon. It means that we stay with what we usually do. Okay. Um, but it was an interesting game. First time I played with the, the broom bar, but certainly not the last. Maybe, yeah. maybe I want to try... Th th this will be Sven's permanent entry from now on, just as the Hellcat is my permanent entry. Or Maybe I want to try to save on some points. Maybe I go with the STUH42, which has a medium howitzer instead. Uh, or maybe I want to have the uh, Sturm Tiger, which is armor value of 11. I need to upgrade to a Jackson then. But there's no Recky. It's a big recon. I don't need Recky. Recon! Damn it! <laughs> Uh, you, awesome. you, you said recon That's earlier, awesome. so it goes out. That's awesome. But this won't be the last game no, that we play. Definitely, because it's fun to do uh, other stuff. Other stuff apart from the historical scenarios that we're doing. Absolutely, we so will be doing more games. Whether it's me and Sign, can't tell you. Whether it's bolt action, can't really tell you. Since we're venturing into new stuff, uh, might be some other stuff where we play uh, grudge matches. We have Flames of War and Warhammer 40k. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if this crew will find that entertaining. Flames of War is at least in the same alleyway. Category? Yeah. Uh, but we hope you enjoy the game, uh, since this is only for the patrons. Um, if you have any comments, then let us know on the Facebook group. Or in the Patreon group. Or in the patron, uh, on the Patreon page. Yeah. Uh, I will add that if we go into round 7, I think Sign would have won. Because I of the, also broom, because of the Broomba. The Broombar and your M18, which could have done nothing else but actually rally or try to make an order test, but he would have had four pins, so yeah, it wouldn't so have so much. Probably sixes followed by sixes followed by six to kill anything at all. But, as it is, it's a draw. We'll add a side note and add how many points are left on each side. Yeah. And uh, the tally of commanders, we have lost... Uh, how many? 
8 commanders with Jiglio. Jiglio sadly is not going to be with us unless he upgrades. Is not oh. that's correct. <laughs> um, so the rest of you guys will be back for Africa. You guys will be back because you are our top patrons. So thank you very much for supporting us, and yes. we will continue to bring you awesome stuff. Yes, uh, that's not including Damon. I am awesome. I'm coming to Warlord for Games Day. Some of you already know this. I hope to see many of you there. Yes, you will. This has been Tabletop Battle. Signing off. Bye, Damon. And Anders, sign, Celia, your wife, her kids. Cut. <laughs>